and continuing part four of Suetonius's Virgil. For when hack Tanos Haberet, for when thus far or so far he had, now he's uh, talking to um, his amanuensis Eros, and he was a freed man. This is uh, reportedly when Virgil was old. So he had this word, misonomaya uh, aeolian, and he has added, or he said to have added, because it's in the uh, orata oblique, Quo non praestantio alta. A little simple bit of a line there to make verse. And item likewise to this. Um, Ere si re viros. Okay. Um, with a similar calor, with a similar heat, here's the join to these other verses. Now remember, it's in poetry, it's got to have a certain amount of beat. Um, yeah, out of this yaktard and this thing that he's thrown out, basically his tongue's thrown it out, you might want to say. He's... Uh, Posted or uh, just added it. Uh, Martem qui ascendere cantu. More bits of uh, Virgil in the Aeneid. Uh, and immediately he ordered this uh, free man of, e of his that Utrum qui, both of these, he has scuberet, he should add to the volume, to, uh, to the work, to the Aeneid. So he started with this, and he's just off the tip of his tongue, just come up with these, and he's. Uh, Menuesis has added it to the volume, to the poem. Okay, you can put a space there if you want, because it's a paragraph. Eno quinquesimo of age. So when he was in his 50th year of age, plus two, uh, 52nd year of age, when he was impositurus, about to uh, put his summum manum to the Aeneid, his last touch of his hand, or his last hand literally says he's giving to the work, he statuated, he decided, in with the accusative, in the Greece, and into Asia to secure, to um, separate himself, to go off in the Greece and into Asia. And in Triano, in three years, continuo, uh, nothing more nihil amplius than to emendere. So he spent three years just emending uh, the Aeneid, so that the relic were vitae, the rest of his life, uh, would merely be vacare, they'd be free, for philosophy, devote his time to philosophy. Said cum ingressus ita. But when he'd made an ingressus on his uh, journey, he made a start to it, he accursed a dative, so he occurred to, he ran into Augustus reverting, coming back. So when he's at Athens, he met Augustus, who was reverting ad Romam, to Rome, it's accusative, from the Orient, from the East. So was planning on doing this and he disdinerated he uh, decided not to absistere not to be separated there's that ab bit meaning be separated and even to return looks like he's going to return with augustus to rome una together as one um and while megara a vicinum opidum a neuter um noun so it's an, a nearby town megara he got to know, he cogniscated, he knew he, in, a, in the ferventissimo sun, in the very hot sunlight or a very hot day. Okay, so now what's happening? He nactus est a lenguorem. So he obtained something that made him languish. So he was took with a sickness. And eum, and it increased... Looks like this sickness increased because he did not have an intermission in his navigation, in his uh, trip, basically. He didn't stop to a heel, maybe. And so, it ut, two correlatives, thus, so that uh, as he appellorated, usually a ship appulses uh, to shore. So, as he came into Brundisium, coming ashore, and navigation suggests he was in a ship, it was early quanto, a little bit more gravy, or his sickness was getting gravy, or, or more serious. And when Porcus Deus, in a few days, uh, 11 Calian October, uh, they, did, they used the numbers meaning before, and the calends of October is the 1st of October, so 11th days prior to the calends of October, so that's in September, he obited, he died. And we have consoles of that year were Sentius and Q. Lucrentius. The ossa of his, his bones, were translata sunted, uh, translated, taken to Naples, Neapolitan, 
Condita means hidden away or buried in a tumulo, which is a little mound, a little burial mound, which is Via Putalina. So it's in this, the Via Putalina, which would be a road. He's got his own little burial mound, um, which is inside of the second lapidum, the second milestone out of, is it Naples? Um, in which he made such a distinction distinction that's the Greek word for a verse of poetry so in which means on this uh, in this tomb he's made this uh, little inscription so he inscribed it says Mantua genwitted me so this town of Mantua is, gave birth to him Calabria is where it, where it wrapped away, wrapped away him <laughs> uh, killed him um, and now pa Nemtiop holds him now. That's the place where he's buried. Kekini, I sang of Pascua. That's uh, pasture fields, Rora's the countryside, and Duke's uh, generals in a war. Okay, so we've got um, Mantua was my birthplace. I died in Calabria. Okay, so that's who is buried in Virgil's tomb. Obviously, Virgil. An innocent epitaph. We've got uh, when we read Virgil's famous epitaph, we automatically have the phrase "Calabria Rapaway," a figuratively meaning, uh, blah blah blah. And in the Virgil's tomb section of Wikipedia, he died in 19 BC, which would be uh, September 21st. His ashes taken to a villa outside of Naples. The shrine was created for him. Sacred rites were held every year. Okay. And here's some pictures. There's a picture of Virgil's tomb. Anyway, his heirs, he made heirs from the half part. So half part of it was his brother, Valerium Proculum, by another father, his half brother. And from a quarter of the estate, Augustus, uh, from a twelfth of the state was Maconatum. And from the rest, uh, Elvarium and Plotium Tuscum. We're given the rest of as heirs of the estate, who his Aeneid post his obitum post his death by order of Caesar it was amended. So was it a plotium taculum amenda vero to the? Oh, actually that's plural. So they must have both amended it. Da quae ra concerning which sometimes the quare doesn't have that space there. Um, there ex extant, there still exist uh, verses of this modi, who was modi of this type, of the Carthaginian Sulpius. So he's made a poem which uh, gives us this information. He ordered uh, these to be abolerated, to be destroyed. Uh, these carmina, uh, these uh, verses or songs, they need to be destroyed by rapid flames. Um, who ordered it? Virgilius. Virgil did. Uh, which Cacinerate, which sang about the Ducam Frigium, the Frigium general, but took her, this guy here, vetoed, and Varius, and there's Varius, uh, similar to, uh, and at the same time, you also Maxime Caesar, great Caesar. You know, we'll do a bit of scrolling down to the, uh, there. Non sinis, you did not allow, and consulis, takes the dative, and if you want to use like memo, it's uh, you're mindful of Latin history. Um, unlucky Pergamon, it fell almost uh, with the twin fire, a gemino igno, and almost est. Uh, another uh, Troy was cremated, burnt up by another pyre. So um, this is the words of this Sulpicius. Carthaginian. Okay. He had egorated with various, he had conducted himself with that, uh, prior, cram, prior to that he had deceded from Italy, as he, before he had left Italy, that sequid that if anything, Sibi to him, at a kidded, at a kides acid, that's the plu perfect. They, okay, so he had made a bargain, looks like, with Varius before leaving Italy, that if anything had happened to him, that he should combore, he should burn the Aeneid. Uh, but he, thus, thoroughly denied. Negarat means deny, purge strengthens it. 
that he would fact sure him this. He, he, did, he uh, said, no, I'm not going to do it, basically. Uh, this bit here, I'll just quote from the lobe. It says, adding your veto to theirs, this is a bit of Caesar, Latium's story preserved. All but twice in the flames, unhappy Pergamon perished. Troy on a second pyre narrowly failed of her doom. If you like poetry. Anyway, Igator, therefore, in his extreme valitude nine, in his extreme sickness, continuously, uh, he was the sitter of, the sitter of itting his scrinia. So he was longing for his uh, book box, I think he carried books in. Uh, he was about to crematurus them himself. He wanted to burn them himself. Verum, but a blade of absolute with no one offering them. Um, nothing indeed uh, by name. Cavit de it. Did he make any caveat or anything concerning them? But people just sort of ignored it. They let it drop, it looks like. Just one more day of this and it'll be finished. So Keterum, but or yet, to the same various, Similac, uh, and also uh, Tuka, looks like Tuim, looks dative, with that male dative and that female dative. Uh, his script, the things he'd written, he legavited, so he left it to these people, sub be a condition with this condition. Naquid, uh, that not anything they should, edorant, they should produce, uh, which was had not been uh, edited or mess edited uh, by himself. So basically he gave his writings to these two people, but the condition was, the caveat, um, only things which he'd previously produced. Obviously tomorrow we'll go on and find that they did more.